Good morning. I am live in Oakland, California, and this is your Monday Namaste Today. Good morning and namaste and welcome to Namaste Today in the Zodiac Weather. I'm your host and psychic astrologer, Christopher Watecki. I call myself the Sensei to Serious Joy because I'm here to stand in my heart and walk in the light each day. And thank you so much for light walking with me. I'm Lovecasting Live today in Oakland, California on Monday, July 6, 2015. And it's kind of a cloudy day here in Oakland, which is rather fitting because today, Step 14 Cancer rules the day. Now, the way I would kind of uh, describe Step 14 Cancer is that we're trying to get our head around a new type of feeling. And we might have come up with that new feeling over the holiday weekend. We had some potential breakdown and breakthrough on Sunday. And today, as we start our week, we start with Step 14, which is an I belong consciousness, kind of a hint of the age of Aquarius here in Cancer. We go in your personal sensei. I'll talk just about what that age of Aquarius is and how I belong works. Then later in your zodiac weather, I'm going to give you some tips on what to let go of for each of the 12 signs and where to self forgive. And in today's telepathy, the actress I'm thinking of has a magical degree in her chart. But first, let's move on to our personal sensei and learn about the age of Aquarius today. This is your personal sensei for Monday, July 6, 2015. And today, Step 14 Cancer Rules today. So today, I believe, we're trying to get our head around a new type of feeling. And that might be a cloudy sort of thing. And this is kind of part of what it's like to be human. We have our mind on one track. We have our feelings on another. Now, when the sun is in Cancer, our feelings rule. And to be honest, our feelings really are the foundation of our incarnation here. So if you know classic astrology or you know uh, sacred geometry, emotion is the foundation of in which we plant ourselves. So when we come into cancer, we're really talking about replacing the potting soil of our soul garden. We're considering replacing the entire emotional foundation that we live in. Now today we're at step 14, we're 15 days into the transit, and that means that we've come to the point now where it's time to either move up the ladder and live a little bit of a higher vibration of life, or continue on this level until we get it. And that's what step 14 really is. If we can get our mind around the feeling that's correct, the feeling that we want, we'll be able to kind of hop on that emotional horse and ride it the whole whole year. But if we can't get our thumb on what that feeling is, then it will be difficult for us to really ride with passion and confidence what we want to manifest. And the next transit is Leo, in which our heart starts to flower. And boy, is it beginning to. So today, it's really about meditating on our feelings and getting our head around what this feeling is. So let's first start to prepare our brain with the phrase of the day. I feel my heart today, and I know where I belong. I feel my heart today, and I know where I belong. Now, it's possible you don't know where you belong, (laughs) okay? But that's what I'm going to help you with you you today as your sensei. I'm going to help you step into where you belong. Now, truthfully, over the weekend, over the holiday weekend, we had a lot of healing. We came into a lot of emotional ground. And then Sunday, the universe started to suggest different alternatives to us. Maybe that what we felt isn't quite at home. And that's cancer, right? The foundation of our soul garden. So maybe we weren't feeling quite at home. And today on Monday, things are cloudy because we don't feel quite at home. We're searching for a certain feeling. We're searching for home, basically. Now that home can be described as where we belong. And belonging is a state of awareness that human beings have not really waken up to. It's called the I belong or Aquarius. So the age of Aquarius is the age of I belong. Now, the age of I belong is where we allow ourselves to be organized, to gravitate to, uh, to become teams with where we belong. And you might ask, well, where do I belong? And the answer is where our heart agrees. And that brings us back to the phrase of the day. I feel my heart today and I know where I belong. So today we want to feel our heart and we want to feel for where our hearts matches. 
That's the simplicity of I belong. And I'll give you some clues, but let's first wrap this up. I feel my heart today, and so I do, and I know where I belong. And so it is, because I said so, I thought so. So, knowing and feeling your heart. Now, you may not know exactly where you belong, as is, is it over there, is it over there? But you'll know the feeling, and that's what I belong consciousness is. That's what the age of Aquarius is. That's what the law of attraction is. That we allow life to unfold by the law of attraction. Not necessarily contracts or marriages or any sorts of, you know, human, uh, you know, sort of uh, structures to control behavior because that's ultimately what these things are. Instead, we stand back. We let our heart fill with love and we see where it's naturally attracted. And the thing is, is wherever it's attracted, it's usually that they're mutually attracted if you're listening to that part of yourself. And so there really is no awkwardness. There really is no, uh, you know, having to get along. And there really isn't much compromise because your hearts are aligned. So your sole challenge today is to identify three areas of your life where you want a belonging upgrade. Where your heart is like, you know what, I'm here, but I think I belong here. All right. So to give you an example that's very obvious that deals with money, it's like I'm in coach and I belong in first class. Okay, you know what I mean? But I'd start on simpler things. In fact, the way I would organize it is find one place to upgrade your belonging in your inner life. Find one place to upgrade your belonging in your daily outer life. And find one place to upgrade your belonging in your proposed future. By kind of thinking this way in three dimensions, you will begin to pop yourself out of the ice cube tray you've been living in and allow your heart to go be where it truly belongs. And if you think of it in three dimensions, which is inner, daily, outer, and future, you will begin to have kind of like a, a wedge placed in each of these dimensions, kind of ready to hold and pop your consciousness out of the old belonging. So one more time, three areas of your life where you want a belonging upgrade one in your inner life, one in your outer daily life, and one of your future. So in inner life, it might be, you know what? I've been feeling like I am less than, like I am poor, but I'm going to do a belonging. I belong inside to feel rich. So inside, I'm going to feel rich. That's a belonging upgrade on the inside. In the outer world, it's like, you know what? I'm not going to always, I'm going to go ahead and just pay for the streaming service without the commercials because I belong not listening to that crap. So that's a daily little thing too, and so forth and, and so on. So, that brings us to today's joy quest. Should you choose to accept it, this will help you get along your day. Whether or not you do my soul challenge, whether or not you keep the phrase of the day in your head, try this joy quest and you'll find the joy to come. I've analyzed it. So your joy quest, should you choose to accept it, is feel the future. That is the simplest way to get into new belonging. Most people have imagined a future where they're in the right belonging. Most people. You know, I highly doubt that people go, oh, in the future, I'll still be a slave and I'll still be tortured. You know, like, you know what I mean? Like, nobody thinks that way. So it's easy for you to get out of your belonging of where you are. Now, if you imagine the future as your heart truly desires, as your heart wishes, and today as you walk the planet, feel like you are in that future right now. Feel as if you are. That is the secret of the best actresses on the planet. And today you can, and actors too, <laughs> but as I'm jumping ahead to telepathy, but you too can manifest your reality and convince the rest of us by feeling it right now. And that brings us to today's telepathy. Today's telepathy is a little game we play. I am thinking of three cancer actresses, but one of these cancer actresses, I have something extra to say. In fact, this cancer actress that I have something extra to say has a magical degree in her chart, but only one of them is, has the magic degree. Which one is it? Am I thinking of cancer number one, Edie Falco, of course, from Sopranos and Nurse Jackie. Number two, Meryl Streep best known for The Devil Wears Prada and lately uh, an Iron Lady. Or number three, Kathy Bates, who was in Fried Green Tomatoes, Titanic, and Misery. Which one of these cancers am I thinking about? I'll have the answer right after this. So Having trouble in your love life? I have the answers. It's called Secrets of Birthdays, the Love and Lust Report. The biggest problem usually is people choose the wrong person. Not anymore. Find out your birthday secrets available online at secretsofbirthdays.com. So 
And welcome back to Namaste today. Well, I am enjoying myself here in Oakland, California. The vibration here is extremely grounded, very chill. It's almost like home. So I did some research. Turns out Oakland, California is a Taurus, <laughs> just like me. So I feel right at home, and I'm not surprised that my family settled into a Taurus neighborhood. In fact, Oakland is a Step 13 Taurus. Now, if you've had a reading with me and you are a Step 13 personality, you know what I say to you. Step 13 means there's always an A story and a B story. And there's always a point when a Step 13 person or city or whatever reinvents itself. I think Oakland is there right now. In fact, my brother and my family were telling me over 4th of July weekend that rent is up like 45% in one year. That's how many uh, basically technology workers are spilling over from San Francisco into East Bay. So I think Oakland's going through its reinvention. Behind me is Lake Merritt, by the way, which is a tidal lagoon. And there's lots of little apartments and things around it. People obviously out. And I love how multicultural it is. And I love the tourist vibe. I feel so at home here. No wonder why my family came. Incidentally, for people who are in my digital family, that's my personal sensei network, today I'm going to help you out with some eye candy to help you along. At 1 p.m., your local time, look for a text from me that will talk about where I believe you need to do an I Belong upgrade in your daily life. So I'll be giving you where to look out for that rainbow. Then at 3 p.m., your local time, I'll be talking about where I think you're going to do an I Belong in your big picture story. Both of those available today in the Personal Sensing Network. Now, if you'd like to join my Personal Sensing Network, it is based on the exact time of your birth and date of your birth, and these only get more accurate every day. Try out for yourself. Come on down to SeriousJoy.me. It's just 99 cents to try for the first week. And that brings us to today's telepathy. We're looking at cancer actresses, and I've talked about it so many times, how good actors and actresses are who are cancers, because I believe human beings communicate more through emotion than they do through words. All right, and this is why cancer can be powerful and you have so many Academy Award winning cancer actors. But today we're focusing on actresses and one of these actresses has a magical degree in her chart. But which one is it? Is it number one, Edie Falco, number two, Meryl Streep, or number three, Kathy Bates? And the answer is Meryl Streep. As you probably know, I talk about Meryl Streep a lot. I have, my heart goes out to Meryl Streep. I think she's incredibly talented, of course. Turns out Meryl is a step zero cancer. Now, if you've ever had a reading with me, you know this too. Step zero is a magical degree. When you're a step zero, it has these two properties about it that people should know. One is, is that the person behind it can project anything they want. They're very good at projecting images, and people usually buy the image, which works really well if you're an actor and actress, really bad if you're a con artist, right? And the second thing is, if the person with the zero degree does not give that zero an instruction, the person who looks at that person sees themselves. It's known as the magic mirror degree, and so a lot of people project their own karma onto these subjects. So interesting stuff, huh? Moving on to today's rock and roll gospel. I thought that because we were in cancer, I'd mix it up a little bit. And this week, I'm going to do a little theme. This theme we're going to do for the entire week, family kind of rock and roll sensations. So it's all about family rock and roll sensations, family bands. There's been a lot of family bands. You know, cancer is family. So I thought, hey, let's do family bands today. And today, you would probably not be surprised, but I thought it would be pretty good to start with this one because it's one that goes way back, and that is The Carpenters. You guys remember The Carpenters? I grew up with The Carpenters, man. Pluto was in Libra when I was growing up, and so as a result, it was really kind of like... Um, I don't know. Karen Carpenter's voice was kind of like the soothing of the of Pluto Libra. It was so wonderful. And of course, when she passed, it was really sad. And you might think that the song I'm picking is Rainy Days and Mondays Always Get Me Down. But no, I'm the sensei of serious joy. But I did think of that song and thought, yeah, let's not play that just yet. Instead, I thought it'd be much more appropriate to play We Have Only Just Begun. Such a beautiful song. And that really is the truth. Today, as you step out in your day, when you're belonging somewhere else, say to yourself, you know, self, we've only just begun on this journey. And let Karen Carpenter's beautiful voice guide you. Now, incidentally, Karen was a Pisces and her brother uh, still is a Libra. And enjoy that. Let's move on to today's Cosmic Clock and your personal Zodiac horoscope and weather. And here we are with today's Cosmic Clock. Well, the first point of order is the sun. The sun is at step 14. Step 14 is I love and I belong. And when I love and I belong add together, it comes to I think. Therefore, we are trying to get our mind to a new thought, a new conclusion, 
about where we belong, and giving us a boost is Mars at step eight. Mars is the ego part of us. Step eight is I decide. So our ego is deciding, and our ego maybe already has decided, it's that smart ass, your mind, that might be holding things up. Then the sun today is not just in step 14, but directly opposing Pluto. Pluto is also at step 14 in Capricorn, and this means that we are literally crossing the line. Crossing the line in the sense of, if you follow your feelings and where you belong, it is probably in uncharted territory. There are no rules for this. There is no experience. You will feel like a pilgrim in the new America, which, by the way, was one of the times Pluto was in Capricorn. So we are all about to do that, and what gets us there is following the feelings of where we belong. If you feel dread, if you feel pulled down, you're not following where you belong, you're getting pulled into Pluto. Then lastly, the moon. The moon says you must forgive yourself today. The moon is crossing, will cross Neptune yesterday, but now is heading for Chiron and will cross Chiron tonight. What that means is emotions will have a bit of a release. It's time to let it go and let it flow, to forgive and forget your past and do not allow any of the past to influence the future. Do not let the past pollute your emotional future. So stay in the I belong, let it flow, and let it go. But before you go, let it go and let it flow, probably with Karen Carpenter, let's take a look at the moves of each of your brothers and sisters today and a special soul vitamin. And today's soul vitamin is sponsored by the moon heading for Chiron, which will likely cause Chiron tonight before you fall asleep. So in each of the 12 zodiac signs, I'm going to tell you where you should let it go and let it flow. Just let it go for each of the 12 signs in the order of the 11 steps of serious joy, starting with the invisible step, the step zero Scorpios. Scorpios, sunny and childlike today with the moon in Pisces, but it's time to let it go and let it flow when it comes to lost loves and any broken dreams. Plenty of new time to dream new now, Scorpio. Get on. Step one, the Leos. Cloudy, reserved, and rather private today. But it's time to let it go and let it flow when it comes to old trespassers and anything that you've had to let go of. So you're letting go of loss, period. Step two, the Cancers. Cloudy and rather pensive today. They are the Cancers after all. Happy birthday, by the way, Cancers. I sometimes forget to say. But you are letting go of your attachment to false prophets, ignorances, or maybe choosing the wrong adventure. Step three, the Sagittarius is partly cloudy, nesting and resting today, but it's time to let go and let it flow when it comes to any childhood drama or any deep emotional scars you may still be holding on to. Step four, the Aquarians, sunny and productive today, but let it go and let it flow with any financial losses from the past, productivity losses, or old self-esteem shadows. Step five, the Geminis, sunny and professional today, but Gemini, time to let go of any kind of mishaps of making the wrong decision or going down the wrong career path. It's okay, let it go, let it flow. Librans, step six, partly cloudy, maybe a little oversensitive today for the Librans. You need to let it go and let it flow with old health issues, old work blunders, or old injuries. Step seven, the Pisces, sunny and cool with the moon in their sign. And for you, my friend, you need to pardon your entire life. <laughs> I know that was my evil laugh, but it's true. If you're a Pisces, that's what you're doing is scrubbing karma. And really, you just got to forgive and forget everything because you are here to clean it up, my friend. Step eight, the Capricorns, cloudy and pensive today, but it's now time to let it go and let it flow with judgmental thinking. Mostly self-judgmental, you know, Capricorn self-judge much harder than they judge others. Step nine, the Aries, cloudy and spiritual today in all this Pisces energy, but it's time to let it go and let it flow when it comes forgiving God and forgiving the universe. See how it's spelled there in the Chiron. Step 10, the, the Tauruses, sunny and rather social today, but it's time to let it go and let it flow when it comes to prior social blunders, flaws, or lost friendships you hope to hold on to. And Tauruses do hold, to hope on to, hold on to everybody. They hope everyone will stay in the pen. Step 11, the Virgos, sunny and sentimental today, but Virgo, this is a big one. Time to let it go and let it flow when it comes to lost loves, lost opportunities with people or family members. Ooh, Virgos can hold on hard there. 
So moving on to our Light Walker Parade. Hey, if you're watching on YouTube, please be kind and do subscribe. I thank you ahead of time. And on Facebook, you can now be our friend at soulgarden.me. By the way, if you're on any Facebook besides soulgarden.me, I'm kind of all aligning my Facebooks into one Facebook just to make it simple now in the future. And don't forget to come down to the Mothership of Light, soulgarden.tv. That's where I live. That's where you can find out more about me. And that's where you can always see Namaste today. And forget, don't forget, whoops, that was a Freudian. Don't forget to feel the future today. Day. Feel the future, live the future, walk the future, see what it feels like, see if you belong. I'll see you in 24 hours with more when the sun comes out to play. Until then, remember I love you and live, love, be. So.